Welcome back to No Simp Saturdays. If you feel bad about your life, can't get women, or just want some general entertainment, then this is the video for you. Let's dive into the content. After this week, we all should know the Adam 22 situation, where he let an adult actor go through his wife. This situation just does not stop being funny. There's only a few guys in the industry who are like big on social media, very well known by like, just right when you look at them, you know that guy, you know? And, and I wanted my first scene to be like, you know, a big scene. And it's worth mentioning that we did a TikTok in Vegas back in January where, and, and this might've been like the first time we ever even joked about it on camera, but I said to him doing a little TikTok, I said, who's the hottest girl here? And then he like put his arm around you and walked away with you. And that I believe has like 9 million views on TikTok. And he was like the obvious choice. I was like, oh, I have to go with him. This is what the audience wants. I remember these two are married, but it's what the audience wants. We've got to keep the audience happy. Never mind our marriage. Someone said divorce in three, two, one. I think we can all smell it coming. <laughs> right, that's not even the funny part. Adam 22 and his wife, Lena, have now done an interview with the dude who's just slept with his wife. And what's funny is the actor who slept with Adam 22's wife has said that he wouldn't let anyone do this to his wife. It's not really a cup situation. It's more of like two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know, so if you're cool with it, then you know, it is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it, but everyone's different. Everyone have different levels of I say mental maturity. Well, it would be kind of weird for you to find a dude bigger than you. Maybe they could resurrect Andre the Giant or something. Maybe you could get Brock Lesnar to come through and cut it up for you. But I mean, you're kind of like the biggest dude that I could think of. I don't know. It's going to be tough. Oh, this just gets sadder and sadder. Adam is just filled with cope right now. You see where Jason says, me personally, I wouldn't let anyone do it. You've got to have a certain level of mental maturity for someone to bang your wife. You see Adam go, as he realizes, damn, not even this guy would let someone do it to his wife. Now I know Adam and his wife are going to make an absolute killing off this, but there's certain things that just aren't worth the money. And I think we can pretty much guarantee that they are headed for a divorce. Every time Adam sleeps with his wife now, he's going to be thinking about this whole situation. And then later, can get back to the streets. Speaking of girls who were made for the streets. Even in bed, I would literally f you until you were doubting your sexuality. Like, I feel like my ex literally went gay because of it. <laughs> I think she just needs somebody to match her energy. Like, you're just like a Yeah, but then when they match my energy. No, nah, I, I don't. I think you need someone calm and mellow. See, exactly. I feel like I've yeah, learned this like, about myself. And until I find someone that I respect enough to be in my life, it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna be me. But okay. Will they be down for all that? I See, mean, that's what I'm saying. Would who be like somebody a who's more calm and balanced? I feel out. like it would scare them away. Yeah, I think it yeah. is very scary. Because, Maybe like, they don't want to deal with it. That's you know? what I'm saying. And you know what? This who actually just to. happened. I had this guy that I was seeing, just not even seeing. It was like we started like um, we started talking for like three weeks. He hit me up at like three in the morning when I was in Miami, and he was like, "Hey, I just googled you and saw that you did." I don't want this. That was a regular person. And I was like, oh, okay. So I, I tried, you know, I tried. I also tried someone who did what I did. And it, I turned them basically so like the f we have another OnlyFans girl who's once again talking about the struggles of trying to find the type of man that she wants. She thought she wanted someone to match her energy, and then she realizes that that's not for her. Then she thinks she needs someone who's a lot calmer and someone who's normal, who's not in the adult industry. And then she's realized that they don't want her. And then if she's going for a high value man with a lot of status and a lot of money, she's going to be nothing more than a booty call, a one night stand, or a side chick. Birds like these are great for a little bit of fun, but that's it. As they say, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. You know why I came here? I think it's very obvious. Exposure. I'm on OnlyFans. This is I'm getting paid. Oh, so essentially, paid. the last time I came here, I got paid. This time, I'm gonna get paid. So let me get this straight. So these guys on a podcast that are weird shouldn't be doing this because you think they're not high value. No, I think I mean it. Like I said, it pays the bills. So can you define what a high value man is in your eyes, then? Um, one, a man who's not interested in multiple women. Two. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about that? Okay, well, how old are y'all? 
<laughs> Continue on. No, no, keep going. Keep going. You? No, no, keep going. I don't want to interrupt you. Keep going. How are you? No, no, keep, keep going. What do you think I'm going to say about this clip? Well, I kind of agree with both of them. First off, once again, this girl is literally telling us how she comes on these podcasts and she's getting paid. She's getting a lot of simps who are in the chat who are hiding in plain sight, signing up to her OnlyFans. All these Red Pill podcasts, and I'm a fan of Flesh and Fit, but they don't realise how much they actually contribute towards the problem of getting simps to sign up to these OnlyFans girls. If I was a little simp, I know exactly where to go to find new women to subscribe to on OnlyFans. Podcasts like these, they have decent looking girls on, they're all on OnlyFans, and if I'm a little simp, then that's my ultimate resource for finding these girls. And that's what the simps are doing. She also says a high value man wouldn't be interested in multiple women. She's both wrong and right, and that's because you can still be a high value man and only be interested in one woman. That being said, to say that you don't have ages is a complete lie. The majority of men think about other women, whether they act on it or not is a whole different story. We are typically hardwired this way. Now you could be the exception and you never ever think about another woman. You never watch adult content and it's just you, your wife and that's it. You occupy a very small percentage of men. Either that or you've got no mates to bounce off with. You know when you're around a bunch of men what we all talk about and it honestly doesn't matter how much of a happy relationship you're in or not. Men just talk about other women. It's what we do. As I say, you can be a man who gets with loads of women. You can be a man who's just loyal to his one wife. Both of these people can be high value because value is not measured in a man across one metric. There's multiple different metrics that we can measure to determine whether someone's high value or not. If we take a UFC fighter who's got their own business, who's in fantastic shape, who's emotionally sound, very intellectual, very confident in himself, respected by other men, has a large network of other high value men around him, but he's in a monogamous relationship or married. Does that mean he's not a high value man? Of course not. But then they also kind of prove a point a little bit by giggling like little kids. And if you disagree with me on men being biologically programmed to be interested in multiple women, check this video. I once got dosed with a man's amount of testosterone on an accident. <sighs> and I start looking at my boss and my coworkers and I'm like, oh my God, why do I want to, <laughs> why do I want to like, uh, why do I want to do things with my co, <laughs> why do I want to do things with my coworkers? Like this is making no sense. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? And I go in the bathroom. And I'm just like looking at, I'm just like, put my hands on this on the countertop and I'm like look in the mirror I'm like Molly what's wrong with you and I was like oh testosterone oh shit oh my god I've got a man's amount of testosterone in me today this is wild now it doesn't really work like this chances are this was just a placebo effect but testosterone is the most powerful sex hormone and it is responsible for men wanting to constantly have sex all the time female bodybuilders have reported in the past that when they hop on testosterone that their sex drive goes through the roof so it is pretty normal so for the 4% of my audience that are women you need to understand that your man can be completely in love with you but he is still going to think about other women in some sort of capacity and that is because of how he's hardwired doesn't mean he's going to act on it doesn't mean he's going to be unfaithful or break his loyalty to you it just means that every now and then his mind's going to wonder a little bit and that's it don't shoot the messenger okay comment down below what you think of these clips boys this has been no sim saturdays if you like raw hip-hop check out my new song down in the description i missed yesterday's video because i had a hospital appointment but i'll see you all tomorrow